all have dreams and passions, and we hope one day they will turn out to be reality. Now, my passion and reality have often been like this, just a blank screen. And this is a huge problem. Now, one time my passion was to create medical tools that can be used by millions. So I was very fortunate when, with a team, I was able to create a device called iNetra, which is a snap-on eyepiece. You snap it in your phone, look through it, dial a few buttons. When you hit calculate, it gives you a prescription for your eyeglasses. <laughs> but after building this, and now it's available in Mumbai, I also realized I have hundreds of other ideas, about 20 different devices we can create with I uh, and my team. And we said if we take every one of these ideas on this iNetra route, it'll take us about 20 years. So why don't we work with the rest of the world to put it together? So this is my group at MIT Media Lab. Everybody has a 3D, everybody has a 3D printer on their table and you know, lots of toys. These guys are having fun. But we thought, why don't we work on a new platform which we call Redux, Rethinking Engineering Design and Execution, and work with folks all over the world, in this case with Alvi Prasad Eye Institute in Hyderabad, where we have hundreds of innovators working with us in a very open platform to see how we can create solutions for those who cannot see well and those who need to see uh, better. And so this has received a tremendous response, and we have opened a multi-crore innovation center in Hyderabad, and many of these ideas are becoming startups, and hopefully they'll go out and do really well. So it looks like to go from dream to reality, there are all these intermediate stages, you know, how do we identify problems need to, we need to work on, how do we prototype, how do we develop them, is there a way to validate them in a very efficient manner, and eventually how can we find partners to scale them. So that brings back to the topic for today, which is Kumbh Mela. Now, I'm from Nasik, you know, grew up in a modest family, and as saw Kumbh Mela, about 30 million people show up for about 30 days. And often people ask me, so how do you deal with this? And I said, yeah, exactly, we don't deal with it. That's the way it goes for Kumbh Mela. And the next one is taking place in Nasik uh, in about a year from now, August of 2015. And as beautiful as this venue is, and I hope all of you will come to the next Kumbh Mela, uh, in a year or so. It create, throws up a lot of challenges in various sectors, health, housing, transportation, civic issues, and so on. And you know, we are all here at Inc. to be inspired. And it's an amazing platform. So I met Sunil Khandabahale, who was the Inc. fellow last year. We didn't realize we are from the same town. Sunil is also from Nasik. And <laughs> thank you. And over a conversation, we said, wow. You know, we have Kumbh coming to our town in about two years. Is there something we can do about it? And that's where the dream was. And to make that into reality is very, very challenging. So this is the formula we have used. We didn't know where to start. We didn't even know what problems we should be targeting. So we again use online tools to ask folks to submit problems that we should work on. And I don't know who we at that, met, at that point met, but we got hundreds and hundreds of problem statements, very detailed problem statements from various stakeholders in the city. And then we did a nationwide call and selected about 150 innovators and makers to work with us. Then we spent a week uh, in January of 2014, which is just three months after Inc., uh, and worked on 20 projects, not a hackathon, but with a build-a-thon. And then after that, every three months, we go back to Nasik and work with innovators from MIT as well as the rest of the nation and guiding them. And here is a video that kind of shows us the journey. So Kumbh Mela again is about a year from now, the actual event. Very beautiful, very colorful, very engaging. But now our role is to reimagine what a Kumbh Mela could look like. And so the journey started with Sunil and Lakshmi and many of our partners. And this is our event, literally three months after Inc. of last year. City commissioner, the police, the mayors, uh, the, um, the taxis, the hotel owners, they're all engaged in trying to solve the problems of the Nasik city. 
So we have all these innovators coming and thinking about issues that really matter. They're engaging deeply, they're brainstorming, a lot of field studies. We have panels of experts who are giving feedback to the innovators. Many of them are local. I would say a large fraction are local because they're so passionate about solving it. But we also have other folks coming from the rest of the world. And so we're really creating a sandbox. And here we have a meeting with you know, many of the key people in the city who are challenging us and saying, these are the problems we have. Do you think you can solve uh, through this effort? So our next camp is end of January, and I hope many of you will come and contribute and inspire us with your efforts. And why us? Why not the government? Because the government is very busy building the infrastructure. They're kind of the my bab, you know, bringing in paramedics, bringing in police, but they come in for a month and they disappear. And what we need to do is have a bottom-up innovation that can ca take care of the issues. And of all the places, Nasik right now is very interesting. If you're a nonprofit, if you're an entrepreneur, you're a policymaker, because the city is wide open. The data sets are available, and we have unprecedented access to so many places in the city that simply won't be available anywhere else. So that's fascinating. And many of the stakeholders, you know, the owners of rickshaw and taxi unions. We have the hoteliers, we have the hospital folks, we have the mayor's office, you know, the commissioners, the railways, the, the cell phone tower owners, and the inf uh, infotech companies, the industrial associations. They're all working with us together. And what I'm delighted is many of them are here. If you can please acknowledge them. So we thank you for being with us and hopefully convert our dream into reality. And it's not a hackathon, it's not a competition, it's a build-a-thon. We are working together, hand in hand. And we're focusing on solutions that are tech-centric. We have to keep our focus. We are staying away from problems that require changes in policy, or require a lot of manpower, or might even require a lot of infrastructure changes. So we're, we're staying very tech-focused, very bottom-up. And we're having a lot of fun uh, while solving these problems as well. There are so many projects going on, so many startups that have spun out, that are working together. And I know many of you have various ways to contribute to these efforts, whether you want to participate as an inventor, as an innovator, as somebody who wants to participate in one of the startup teams, or simply come there and share your passion with us. We are working on housing problems. How can we, uh, how can we get the hoteliers and the homeowners to work together so that millions of additional people who will come to the city can do something that looks like Airbnb but will not work in the city at all because of the lack of trust between the people who are visiting and the people who stay there and lack of credit cards. We're looking at cashless transactions, cashless without a mobile phone. The visitors will have a barcode that's prepaid with an amount. They can walk in completely free with no electronics on their body, and the shopkeepers have a cell phone app that downloads and deducts amount from what's preloaded and through a payment gateway. Uh, or we're looking at how to use cell phone tower data. We're looking at transportation solutions. We're looking at bike sharing solutions where locks are created in such a way that once you open the lock, you must get an SMS code to get the unlock code for the next time, and so on. And as they say, the proof is in the Shrikhand. <laughs> so let me invite on the stage some amazing innovators <laughs> who are inspired and also inspiring us. Thank you, Ramesh. <laughs> Hi, I'm Girish from Nasik. I was working with a traditional organization for the last 20 years. I came across this wonderful team of Kumuthan. We thought we'll find some technical innovations with this team. So when we talk of Kumbh Mela, crowd is the first thing that comes out to our mind. And when our crowd is there, stampedes and other things, those also come into picture. So traditional ways of controlling the crowd are just having barricades, queuing the people, and so on and so forth. So our team, we thought, let us go for some technology solutions. So what could be the technology solutions for that? So we often use cell phone, and we lose the cell phone coverage also. But how can we use this data for controlling the crowd? So this is the solution which we'll be going for. This is actually the cell phone tower data coming from it, 
and you can see the flow of brow which is flowing through this. The green dots showing that the flow is continuous and the red one are where the crowd is getting stuck up. So this data is also made available on the mobile and the individual can take decision as to whether he should enter into the crowd or he should be away from it. So our team is very much passionate about all this and we are starting up things with this and thank you for that. Hi, I am Sachin. I am a professor in management school. So far, I work out on the innovations for the street hawkers. I have been continuously working by empowering the street hawkers. Somehow I failed that. I should focus a larger issue. And that somehow failed me to actually connect with this Kumbh Mela. Three percent or almost two lakh children lost in last Kumbh Mela which held in Allahabad. And this is how when it comes to a week or maybe a month to reunite them. Can we imagine the pain this family suffered due to a loss? And that's where that, that somehow we, which strikes us and that is how we actually uh, created the system which is called Milaf. Milaf is a system for reuniting the people for the, which related to the lost and found camps with the help of army of people which is already deployed. That is shopkeepers. In our startup, shopkeepers enter by adding the name, they click the, the photo, they, they enter the age, as well as the GPS coordinates. And through that, once these all informations will be added, then the finally the, the information starts uh, related to the, the lost, which will start scanning like this. This, the the different different locations the people has been touched which has been flashed on the screen and the same times the match will be work out. This is how the Milaf works. I'm very confident because of this Milaf system which will going to be launched in Kumbh Mela. Bachpan mein bichde and bachpan mein mile. Thanks a lot. Hello, I'm Sandeep. Software is doing well in India. There are a lot of software engineers working in multinational companies. I'm one of the passionate to work in TCS. I believe technology is the best platform in this planet to solve the social problems. This inclined me to join this fantastic Kum team to take a critical problem in the Kum that is work on health issue. During Kum, there is a humongous crowd. When it comes to the crowd, there is a possibility of epidemics outbreak. During Kumbh, there are temporary clinics installed across the city. Around 400,000 patients being treated during Kumbh. Traditional way of doctors capturing this data is on the paper. Can you imagine the amount of pain and the impact on the health organizer there? They are not able to control the epidemic quickly if anything happens. Now, how do we deal with this problem in coming Kumbh Mela? Are we going to continue in the same way what happened in the past? No. What we have done, we came up with an innovation which will digitalize all this information, which will capture the information, and not only capture, the interesting thing is, it will apply data analytics on top of that, and it will allow the authorities to control the epidemics quickly we will save many more lives. Data analytics is one thing, but another interesting stuff we are doing with this, we are asking people or patients, how is their health over the time, whether they are good or bad, and that data we are again using back for the better prediction and which allows us to control the epidemic outbreak in the city. Another interesting stuff we are doing is an alerts on cell phone. Can you imagine you are traveling, you are, you are going in the Kumbh Mela, and you are getting alert there, there is a disease outburst happened. So be sure and be controlled about it. And that's how this Kumbh Mela will be known. This epidemic dashboard will help all the authorities to control the system properly. I'm sure this Kumbh Mela is going to remember 
for not losing a life, but saving a life because of this epidemic innovation which, which we have done. So that's just a sampling of some of the projects, and we have 15 other projects uh, that are go, going out there. And hope through these innovators, uh, we can get closer and closer to reality of achieving our dreams. And talking about dreams, let me bring on our favorite Inc. fellow, Sunil Khandabahale. My friends, this is just the beginning. What you saw is just a start. We started small with a simple thing called Kumbhathon, which means hackathon for Kumb. But we have Kumb NQ, Kumb Excel, Kumb Deploy. It's not just about Kumb Mela or not just about a city called Nasik. What we are creating here can be easily replicated to all across small cities uh, of the world. I'm a proud Inc. fellow, so what could be the best platform to make announcements? So here, with this, I would like to make uh, a launch of Kumb Foundation. <laughs> Join us on 24th of Jan at Nasik to celebrate the one year of cosmic journey of life. Thank you. <laughs>